morning. So here's a question that often comes up, and uh, this is my first time uh, having to deal with it actually. Uh, but uh, crankshafts, when you're putting them back together and aligning them with the uh, counterbalance, there's a blue dot right there that you align the crankshaft with, or the uh, counterbalance, and there's the blue dot there. But sometimes when they rebuild them, you don't get any blue marking. So easy way to figure out where uh, it's supposed to go to align up. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, right now. So really all I need is a little square, tape measure, marker, and uh, we're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, on the PTO end of the crankshaft, we're going to bring the small side of the counterbalance weights, or not the counterbalance, the uh, weights, up to the top. So not the large, oh, here we go, the small side, PTO end. And what I do is I'm just going to measure the width of this right here, which comes out to about inch and five eighths. So what's inch and five eighths divided by two? 0.8125, 13 sixteenths, just over three quarters of an inch. Take a marker and mark 13 sixteenths right there. Now, take my square, put it right against the weight on this side, aligning up with the mark that we just put there. And if you look straight down from here, the middle, right there, I'll just put a mark here, that's where your counterbalance goes. Now don't go by a mark that you put on here because this will move um, when it's out of the case. So, or I guess if you leave it in the case, that should be just fine. And that's as simple as it is. And actually this crank, they put a little scratch mark on there, which actually aligns with exactly what we just did. So next time you run across that, that's an easy way of figuring out where it goes. And a lot of times you'll end up finding a little scratch or something that you didn't see before that that was the way of indicating it. But uh, anyway, hopefully that helps you. And uh, Shortly, we'll get back on the reassembly of this uh, 951DI. Thanks for watching.